Dillon Beach is located in Northern California. It's about 60 miles north of San Francisco. Uh, it's just obviously right on the coast. Um, it's an old town, a uh, recreation town uh, built up in the 1800s. It's a community of about 430-ish homes. Really, my daughter just basically needing it for school. A lot of the assignments were on Google Docs and uh, finding, you know, receiving assignments that way and actually submitting assignments that way. Some of her classes required her to watch some videos on YouTube. Internet was really critical to uh, her education and trying to find um, a service that was affordable and actually worked out here was uh, not proving itself possible. You were basically limited to a uh, satellite, um, which had really, really terrible latency issues. Uh, the speeds were, you know, like five megabits down and two or something up. I mean, if you were lucky. And then there were a couple of other um, uh, point to multipoint solutions that were um, out here, but uh, I don't know if it was um, just a lack of quality equipment or like, you know, technology just wasn't, you know, didn't perform that well. Um, it was very dependent on line of sight. And so it was really hit and miss. I think that there were maybe some people in our community that were able to get internet that met their needs but I think that there was a you know, vast majority that I came to learn uh, at some point that, that it wasn't the case. It quickly became apparent that this was desperately needed you know, community-wide. The process uh, really was just a guy, me, just sort of stumbling through and trying to figure it out because I had no formal training in this uh, field um, and so it was really just kind of I'll try this and we'll see how that works um, and doing some research online to try and you know sort of sort through what other people are uh, are doing um, but it, it, from the from a concept level it didn't really seem that difficult in the sense that you just you know you have to have some source with the rolling hills and you know obstacles um, get around corners and stuff he, the, that micro pop um, solution really seemed to be the answer so I gave it a try and um, I was really pleased with the results I mean the speeds were just way more than I expected it works really well and the interface that Mimosa provides I mean, if there is a problem, it's quickly to identify and, um, and to resolve. The price point that the equipment is at uh, allows somebody um, to roll this out without uh, having to necessarily reach out to investors. I've been really impressed with how stable the whole thing has been. We've had, I mean, living here on the coast, this past winter especially, we had uh, 70 plus mile an hour winds and I mean, major rainstorms. I didn't know what to expect, <clears throat> but everything went totally smoothly. When I first um, started, I didn't have uh, the expectation that I would be where I am today. So, um, my, my first objective was just to get internet for myself, success. Check that off, I have plenty of internet for myself now. And then it was for my immediate neighbors. Um, check that off too, that was a success. And then it grew to um, the community as a whole. And so um, that uh, was where I needed to take things to the next level and where Mimosa helped me fulfill that. Um, and uh, so now at this point, I would say that I probably can hit just about every home in the community. With technology, there, you know, I have an online bookkeeping service that I use, and so it's just all, it's all automated. I mean, that's part of what's so great about living in today's day and age is that you can just automate pretty much everything. And um, so really it's just a, a matter of me 
uh, you know, having to physically go out on location to do an installation of an antenna and, and get a house set up. But um, as far as, um, yeah, all the, the business side of it, it's, it's pretty straightforward with the technologies and software packages we have available today to, to make that pretty streamlined. Laid into what I've been doing out here in Dillon Beach, I uh, saw an article in the local newspaper about a town that's very close, um, maybe 30 miles away, with uh, 200 homes. And um, I was surprised to see, I mean, there had been apparently a lot of wor work up to this point, um, but I was surprised to see uh, what the article had to say, and that was that it um, roughly speaking, the, the project was going to be two and a half million dollars or two point six million dollars or something like that. Um, and at that time, like over three and a half years of uh, planning and budgeting and uh, seeking the government for subsidies. And I was just blown away because uh, at that time I'm reading it, I've, I'm thinking back just the last year and a half and I have just by myself <laughs> without any external funding, funding or anything, um, have 150 homes. And they're talking about 200 homes. Here I got 150 homes and uh, it didn't require anything more from the, from the homeowner to just other than just to sign up for 50 bucks a month. They didn't have to come up with whatever $12,000 out of pocket or something like that to get internet. I felt sad for the community, um, knowing that there was just such a better, easier, faster, cheaper way to achieve the same thing. I used to call it the worldwide wait, you know, because God, I was—I've I've been here since pre-dial-up. I mean, so I went through all the dial-up stuff and uh, and people that have tried to uh, bring high-speed internet out here, but never really seemed to fly. But since since Brant came along. He's doing a heck of a job and it's just, it makes my work easier. It makes my wife's work really easy because she's in the real estate business. It makes the property out here more, you know, uh, more desirable. You tell somebody out here you don't have high speed internet. I mean, the value of the property just isn't there. This probably made the most impact on, on, uh, on Dillon Beach, uh, you know, uh, improvement wise. You know, there's some things that made impact on Dillon Beach. It's, you know, that's not, not positive, but this is probably one of the most positive things. Having fiber fast internet here in Dillon Beach has been transformative in the sense that, um, I mean, people are watching ultra high def 4K videos and they can do that in you know, multiple TVs in the same house uh, and the system will support that. A couple of years ago, I moved from Toronto, Canada to Dillon Beach and uh, I came out here to be in nature, to, um, to explore a different chapter, a different lifestyle. And the one thing that was most important to me was having great internet service. And when I arrived, I discovered that that actually wasn't the case. Um, this has just made a total world of difference for us that having the family together at the cottage has made it so much easier for me. And then my everyday business, um, doing a lot of internet um, overseas and, and uh, just communication overall has been so much easier for me. So having him here is a blessing. He's a huge contribution to the community in so many, many ways. Having this, this quality of internet out here has um, allowed me to stay and live here. Initially, I thought I won't be able to, uh, to stay out here. Uh, this is just gonna drive me crazy. But um, yeah, thanks to Brant, this is my home. I can be here 24 seven and never miss a thing.